Hello, my divinities. Welcome, welcome. So after a while, since I am not a super extrovert, um, I do get tired of being on camera. So we are going to continue the Zodiac readings. I have a little bit more energy when I don't have to be like facing the camera. <laughs> so here we go. Going to be looking into Libra. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that has been supporting my um, subscriptions on Patreon or Facebook. It means the world to me. You guys already know that's my main source of income. So thank you for being here or for wherever you're watching this from, <laughs> as well as those who have been reacting, sharing, commenting, sending stars, donations, all of those things mean so much to me. Thank you all. Let's go ahead and get started. What is the energy for Libra? What is the energy for Libra? And this is a timeless message, so you'll see it when you need to. Panther, Moth, Firefly, the lion hmm. okay so let's start with the lion oh hold on there we go couldn't turn off that candle let's start with the lion and then move on to let's see the lion there we go so the lion represents patient, regal, a complete master. The lion is a master of the fire element and the living mascot of self-transformation. A lion personality dedicates their life to personal and spiritual growth. This dedication inspires some and intimidates others. Therefore, the lion is respected by all but known intimately by few. Some mistake the lion as hard to access or aloof. Yet those with a keener eye know better. Lions are observant, stealth, and precise in their words and actions. They do not waste energy or resources. This card reminds us that self-mastery is available to all no matter where our quest begins. When in balance, the epitome of peace and strength. When out of balance, withdrawn, too serious. To bring into balance daily meditation, friendship. Okay. And then we've got the panther. These are some of my favorite animals. I wish I could own a panther. <sighs> okay, it says annihilation of the unnecessary, purging. The panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate. Instead, it pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us towards more fulfilling lives. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. But after all the dust clears, it's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences and they've made us better people. Trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. When in balance, brave, productive. When out of balance, self-destructive. To bring into balance, get rid of the unnecessary. Hmm. Okay, let's find the moth, which is air energy. go impulsive hasty wishful the moth is sure the grass is greener on the other side moth energy is at play when we are attracted to easy solutions or anything shiny and new this can lead to unfinished projects disappointment or burnout it's helpful to remind moth personalities that life is complex no matter the illusion no one is exempt from the trials and tribulations of this great journey Practicing life as an infinite mystery rather than wishing it was easier or different. When in balance, enthusiastic, whimsical. When out of balance, idealizes, jittery, uh, idealizes others and jittery. To bring into balance, finish a project. And then we've got the firefly. The firefly is inspired and fantastic yet fleeting. The firefly contains the light of a thousand stars. It's pure, radiant, and illuminating. This high-frequency charge cannot be sustained for long. Therefore, the firefly card indicates a moment of inspiration or awakening that quickly fades if we do not catch it. There is firefly energy behind every poem, song, and invention. Our job is to be ready to harness this creative spirit when it crosses our path, when it graces our path. What can you do to support this precious and elusive light? 
When in balance, writes, creates, brainstorms. When out of balance, burnout feels dull. To bring into balance, write a poem, draw. Oh, interesting. Libras. So hold on, let me turn on the fan again. <laughs> I turned it off so I could do the, the fire on the Palo Santo and the incense. Okay, it is way too hot in here to be without a fan. So, there is, I think that there is something you need to be working on. You've had inspiration of some sort, but I feel like you're, you're doing something unnecessary. It's telling you to get rid of the unnecessary. Finish your project. That's how you will master yourself. So let's see. Let's see how this plays out for the collective. All right, we've got the star, six of wands, wow. Eight of cups reversed. Eight of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. Ten of Wands, the Hanged Man, Nine of Swords, and Seven of Cups. Okay, let's see what the overall energy is. Two of Swords. <laughs> oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. Beneath that, we've got the Sage, which is the Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles, Heart of Swords, Two of Wands. Yeah, there's something here, um, Libra, where you need to be decisive. With the Sage here, this could indicate two different things to me. One, you are a teacher of some sort, but Two of Swords, you're holding back. When you know it's going to lead you to a lot of abundance, you just have to share whatever knowledge you have. You have to be decisive. But we have the spirit of wands, which is the king of wands, and the heart of wands. This is going to require a lot of courage. And I feel like that's what you're kind of struggling with right now. And the other thing it could be is that you're indecisive about how what which path to take first you may have multiple things you want to create and you're kind of overthinking it that's why there's this little hazy cloud here you're overthinking which project to start with first so the star and the six of wands with the eight of cups reversed It's interesting because the way that the cards came out, they would almost indicate a, um, you have some sort of position that you're reluctant to walk away from. This could be your job. Like some of you could have a job where maybe you're named the, um, maybe you sell things, right? And you're, you're named the seller of the year every year, but you have a spiritual journey that is, you know, going to kind of take you away from that. And this is where you're kind of reluctant to do so. You feel like you've invested so much time and energy into whatever you've built that it feels like a burden to walk away from it. You're in a lot of anxiety. You're kind of imagining the worst. You're Okay, so let's say that this requires walking away from your job. It's interesting because right now you're at the Eight of Pentacles and you could go to the Ten, but you're at a little bit of a loss on how. And the universe is saying, well, you've already had the inspiration you need. I don't even think it's telling you to leave fully. Like it's not telling you to quit your job. 
I think what it is telling you, though, is that this inspiration you have, start working on it. Eventually, you will leave whatever it is you do currently. But I feel like you are really struggling with that. Like you're a... Remember over here? I saw temperance because I feel like it's supposed to be little by little. It's supposed to be... You're supposed to temper yourself into this. You're not, but you're kind of in this very black and white mentality of like, I'm all in or I'm all out. Either I'm all in in the position I'm at, I'm in or I'm, I'm out. And that's not how it's going to work. I think you're sabotaging yourself by limiting yourself that way. Because that's what it is. You're limiting yourself. And you're driving yourself crazy in the process. Which has got to be painful. You really burdened. You're probably experiencing burnout. Because <laughs> remember, two of these cards are talking about burnout. But it's because you're not following your inspiration. You're forcing yourself to stay in a place that's not really... Um, it's not... Like you're focusing too hard on like, but I built this with my own two hands. It took me possibly seven years, eight years to build. And so this could be like, maybe you're supposed to move to a different location. Maybe you're supposed to ch change careers. Maybe you're supposed to, um, maybe you're getting married and you're moving in with someone else and you're freaking out about leaving behind your home. I, there's something here where all of those scenarios could apply. Clarify the two of swords. Let's see. <laughs> two of swords again. Ooh, five of pentacles. Clarify two of swords. Judgment. Overall energy, the emperor. Nine of Pentacles, the Sun. Hmm. It's interesting because we have eight Pentacles, seven Pentacles, almost like as as difficult as this may seem. Because we have eight and seven Pentacles here, but then we have nine right here, and behind the Hierophant, we've got ten. So what this is telling me is almost like the universe has been reducing your pentacles little by little because they're trying to push you in a different direction, but you're holding on like an octopus <laughs> to wherever you're at now. And the universe is like, if you would just step into your masculine, mastery, right? Take action. Take action on the inspiration that we've shown you. You will reach the nine, actually. And eventually the 10. But you're not trusting. With the two of swords, you are in denial that this is even an issue. You are rationalizing things. You're persuading yourself it's going to be okay. There's a reason for this. Um, when in reality, with the five of pentacles, you're afraid. You're afraid that, like, the fact that your money has been going down little by little has you freaking out because you feel like you failed. When in reality, it's because the universe is trying to push you in a different direction. They're trying to call you towards your vocation. Not that where you're at now wasn't part of your process, wasn't a part of your path, but there's a different path that you're supposed to take. This was part of your path up until now. Clarify the star. Oh, okay. Two of cups. Ace of, oh, Ace of wands. Wheel of fortune. Nine of wands. The chariot. Wow. Ten of swords. Son of pentacles. Death. Libra. What is going on? <laughs> you know what? Right now you're in the Nine of Swords, but a change is coming. It's almost like the universe is mentally preparing you to release something. And you're resisting. You're resisting with all your might. But they're saying, look, this Son of Pentacles, I'm going to read the meaning because I want you to understand why I'm saying you're resisting. The Son of Pentacles. Okay, so 
So it says light, loyal, quiet, dedicated. The good side of the son of Pentacles is that he's loyal and determined. He is inventive and can be trusted wholeheartedly. But sometimes this figure becomes stubborn and persistent to a fault. <laughs> this combined with his quiet nature results in his being hard to get to know and socially awkward at times. He commonly has only one or two close friends rather than many. I feel like this is you, Libra. Remember the lion, it showed that you, you maybe have a very regal, self-mastered air, but you've been very withdrawn from society, from social circles. And I feel like that's about to change. There's a death. Oh, look at this, the empress. Which means that you've pulled this in because the empress is a magnet. You have pulled in this change, whether you realize this or not. Now, it did not escape my notice that a while ago we got the Emperor, and now we've got the Two of Cups. So, what does this mean, Libra? With the star, this could mean a couple of things. Whatever it is you're working on right now, whatever this inspiration, because it's right here as well, it's going to unite you with someone. Now, for some of you, this could be romantic, but I have to be clear, this also can be very business-like. Um, but this could be someone famous. This could be someone um, in the limelight. And they once they look at your work, it's like they want to bring you into the limelight too. <laughs> you, might, you might not like that because I see you being like, no. But it's it's meant to be. This Wheel of Fortune, this is meant to be. It's difficult for you and you are resisting it. This may be part of the burden. This may be why you're procrastinating. It's why you're delaying. But with the chariot here, it's saying just, you got this, Libra. It's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. This is something that's meant to happen in your path. It's something you're meant to go through. It's time. It's time for your social circle to change. It's time for your life to elevate. Don't freak out. You have... You have something that you really need to share with the world. And for you to build this Ten of Pentacles, you need to walk away from the Eight. Because you've gotten very comfortable here. There's nothing wrong with that. But it means that now that you've created a comfort zone, you are freaking out about leaving it behind. And I talk about this all the time, right? Our ego resists change. Because the ego is like a very primal... Think, think of caveman type level of, of survival skills. That's the ego. So... That's like somebody telling the caveman, hey, let's go, you know, move to another continent. The caveman's going to be like, what? Food is here. Why would we go? Like it starts freaking out because it does not understand that change doesn't necessarily have to be bad. <laughs> clarify six of wands. Page of wands, clarify six of wands. Six of wands again and father of cups. With the eight of pentacles. Mother of wands, to look. Again. Again, there's this King of Cups. Now, you could be this, right? For some of you, this will be flipped around. Maybe this is you who's already... You'll know who you are because this is somebody who's already quite famous. Star and Six of Wands. If you're the one that's famous, you are recognizing someone else's work and you're wanting to highlight them. But maybe you're coaching them a little bit. You're trying to get them to focus on their inspiration. For others of you... This is a King of Cups, Emperor-like person. They have their, um, their fame, their, their well-known. With the Eight of Pentacles, this is, I'm telling you, this, it's like, it's a professional thing, but it's going to require you being very confident in yourself. You're going to have to get very comfortable with who you are, Libra, because without you realizing, this is going to build a lot of happiness for you. But, but, it does require you stepping out of your comfort zone. Page of Wands energy. You've got to step out of your comfort zone. And again, Six of Wands, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, someone here, someone here sees you as like this, this rare, I don't want to say a creature because it makes you, it sounds like they're treating you like a specimen, 
but almost like a rare teacher because you are showing up as the sage, right? They're looking at you like you have rare knowledge, rare information that needs to be shared. So they're helping you. This is a, this is a blessing. This is part of the divine's plan for you. You may see it right now as a little bit of a threat, <laughs> but it's not. It's time to leave behind the old because wonderful things are coming in for you, Libra. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, reverse. We've got the Mother of Pentacles, clarify Eight of Cups, reversed. Seven of Cups, Four of Cups, the Magician, the World. <laughs> Three of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Mm. Mm hmm. I see, I see, I see. So you've been healing from some sort of pain. Obviously, not for everyone is heartbreak romantic. Maybe this is you losing a dear pet or a family member or a friend, or maybe you lost your job or whatever it is, you have been healing from some pain. But... You're also acutely aware. Look, eight pinnacles, seven pinnacles, six pinnacles. I think you're terrified that you'll end up in the five. But it's not, it's not a punishment. The universe is trying to redirect you. With the lovers, the two of cups, I'm telling you, there's a partnership up ahead. And for some, it will be business only. For others, it'll be business and romance. But you're sitting here... It's like you're looking at your current creation, whatever your current creation is, whether it's a position, whether it's a, a business, mother of pinnacles can have a home business. You're looking at it like it's your baby. You're emotionally attached to it. Let me read the eight of um, cups reversed. Hold on, because this deck is a little different. It feels important. Mm, let's see, eight of cups reversed. It says, I ask myself, is it possible that things are not shifting because my perspective remains the same? Aha. So you have possibly been trying to increase your pinnacles and nothing is happening. On the contrary, I feel like things are kind of dwindling. It's because you're still stuck. You're stuck in this mentality of like, this is as far as I can go. With the Seven of Cups, the universe is trying to open you up to more. <laughs> and this is why I was laughing, because you're like, no, thank you. <laughs> I know what I'm manifesting. I do not want to be famous. But uh, I don't know what to tell you, Libra, because I feel like some of you need to be. You're, you're, you're kind of skirting around. <laughs> Let me put it to you like this, okay? Let's say that you have a healing voice and you're meant to be a singer. And so far you've done things where maybe you, you go on YouTube and you'll sing, but you'll wear a mask because you don't want people to see you. You know that they need to hear your voice, that your voice needs to be out there. So you're putting your voice out there, but it's like you're trying to find loopholes on how to do it without you being front and center. And the universe is like, oh, Libra. <laughs> But see, this, this little book of knowledge is inside of you. You've got to show your eyes, your face. You've got to be comfortable being in the limelight. This is part of your path. Now, it's a challenge, yes, because it's a part of your path. When things are too easy for us, they're usually just a natural part of who we are. This does not feel like it's a natural part of who you are. It feels like it's a natural part of where you're supposed to go, what direction you're supposed to head in this life. So you've kind of even, almost like for some of you, you might even be holding on to this pain, not because you actually feel the pain anymore, because I don't, this is the first place I've seen it. Everywhere else doesn't really talk about that. Like you're kind of shielding yourself behind this, like I'm not ready, my heart still hurts. And no, you're, you're I feel like you're healed. For the majority of you, I think like you're fine. If the Four of Swords comes out, I'll be like, see, see? <laughs> Clarify Eight of Pentacles. Let's see. Ten of Cups. Clarify Eight of Pentacles. 
Nine of Pentacles. Clarify Eight of Pentacles. High Priestess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> the Hanged Man twice, Libra. Oh, my little Libra is you scared. Three of Pentacles. Five of Wands. <sighs> you know, you already know, because we have the High Priestess here. Your intuition is telling you what you need to do. But this that you're being asked to do, it's like having to climb a mountain. And it feels difficult because you are in the energy of like, but I already did all the work to build three three times the three of pentacles and i don't understand why it's being taken from me so you're conflicted right now but it's not being taken from you it's more like think of it think of it like you've got a a teddy bear that got you through some really hard times it was kind of like your blankie and you're about to to move houses and you realize that teddy bear got all cut up and shredded and dirty. And the universe is trying to pull it from you. And you're like, no, that's teddy bear. It got me through some really hard times. But the universe is like, yes, yes, we know. But it's time to let teddy bear go, okay? When in reality, what you don't know is that they have an even bigger teddy bear waiting for you. But you're just, you're very resistant because this is like your... You've gotten into a groove. You've gotten into a very comfortable place. For a long time, you've been very content, very happy. You built, whatever this is, you built it from the ground up with the beaver energy there. And you're very reluctant to see it go. You're very reluctant to part with it. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. Oh, two of wands reversed, three of cups reversed. Son of cups, mother of swords, two of pentacles. This could this could indicate a couple of different things. For some of you, because we did get the energy of getting rid of the unnecessary, right? And it can be shocking. What was it? What did it say? The panther energy? Hold on. It said something about it being chaotic. It said it's unexpected. Yeah, panther energy pounces into our lives, causes all kinds of havoc, havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us towards more fulfilling lives. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. But after all the dust clears, it's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences, and they've made us better people. Trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. That sounds like the tower. That's, that's why I read it again. Because I feel like you may be about to experience a hit. And you are going to feel very burdened because you're going to, I think that you're taking it like this is a punishment, but it's not. This is not a punishment. This is the universe trying to push you in a different direction. And because your, you know, little otter, I mean, not otter, beaver hands are wrapped around this thing. Like, no, no, I built this. <laughs> They're having to, to use a little bit more force, but it's, it's ultimately going to be for your own good. I do see you. Being a little ungrounded when this happens, because you're going to freak out a little bit. You're going to feel very alone. You're going to feel very, um, it, it is going to be devastating. I'm not going to lie. Because with the Son of Cups, this is something that you, whatever this is that you've built, either it's a house, a job, a company, um, a family, whatever it is that you've built, you, you see it like this is, 
this is everything to me. You really love this thing or person. Now with the Mother of Swords, you also know your insight is telling you there's transformation afoot. But your stability is, is what's weighing on you. You're afraid of not being stable. You're afraid of you're afraid of struggling. You're afraid that that this means a loss, that this means that you failed. When it's not, the universe is saying, no, 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 no. We're trying to take you to the Ten of Pentacles, remember. Which your Queen of Swords self already knows. And as long as you stay grounded, it's going to be okay. But I don't know what to tell you, Libras. Let's see. Tell you about the Ten of Wands. Got the Ace of Pentacles, the Moon. Talking about the Ten of Wands. Death card. I'm telling you. Son of Swords. Daughter of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I can breathe a little easier now because I'm a Libra too, guys. I was freaking out a little bit <laughs> looking at this. I was like, what the fuck? For some of you, what you don't see coming with the moon, this hit may not be, like for some of you, I, I'm going to be honest, for some of you, it may be you getting fired. It may feel devastating initially, but it's really not. For others of you, I don't think this hit is that unpleasant. Because for some of you, this could be a relationship, but it's going it, to, it's something about this relationship whether it's a partnership whether it's a friendship whatever it is it's going to change your life quite drastically initially it's going to be a little heavy with the five of swords you will not be able to hold on to whatever this is and be in this like let's say it's a business partnership okay um how do i put this let me let me think of an appropriate analogy because you know me and my analogies i i need them um let's say that you are somebody who Uh, you've been making homemade wine. Let's let's just use that as an example. You've been making homemade wine and it, it's it's gotten to the right hands and now this person wants to create a bigger production. They want to put your wine into stores and, and you know your intuition is telling you this is a good thing, but you will not be able to keep what you've currently built because it's not sustainable. It's not large enough to fit your needs. There will be some pain in letting go. But the trade-up, even if it feels heavy <laughs> for you right now, it's a wonderful offer. And it's actually heading towards you quite fast. But I will tell you, whatever, this, whatever it is that you're heading into, you feel like a newborn. You feel like this is new. You were over here. One of the reasons you were so comfortable is you, were, you already knew what you were doing. You were, you were reigning as queen of pentacles. And now you're going to start over as a page. That's part of what makes you so uncomfortable is that you're having to start over. You're having to... <sighs> yeah, it feels heavy. It does feel heavy. I get it. I do. But it's going to be okay, Libra. You're going to be all right. There's no need to panic. Because this pinnacle that's being offered is stable. Remember, what you were worried about was your stability. Stability is being offered. You're not going to be, the universe is not going to forget about you. It's just trying to redirect you. Clarify the hangman. Queen of Wands. Look at that. Five of Cups came out sideways. Clarify the hangman. Son of Wands. The Six of Pentacles. Three of Swords and the Empress. You are, uh, Libra, you're being a little uh, difficult <laughs> right now with the universe because Empress energy is here. Ooh, with the devil. There's a lot of fear. You're very scared. Nine of Swords. This change is really hitting you. Um, 
Like you're, I'm saying you're being difficult because you manifested this. You're an empress energy. You manifested growth. You wanted to go from the eight to the ten of pentacles. And the universe is like, we got you. Except it's not going to be down this route. It's down this other route. But you're like, no, 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 no. I wanted the ten of pentacles, but down this route. And so now you're, you're playing tug of war with <laughs> the universe. And you're hurt. Almost like you're hurt because you wanted it to go in a very specific direction. And the universe is saying, that's not the direction we were taking you in. That was temporary. Now we're going to shift over here. So with the Queen of Wands energy, again, this is going to require you being very brave and confident. And with the Hanged Man, you're kind of like, I don't know that I am. You're, you are questioning yourself a little bit. Like, am I this brave and confident? A piece of you is excited by the change, which is why the Five of Cups is sideways. There's a piece of you, cardinal sign. You know you'll make it. Cardinal signs survive anything. So there's a piece of you that's excited by the change, and there's a piece of you that's like, but, but I'm going to have to let this go. <laughs> You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine, Libra. Clarify Nine of Swords. The Hierophant again. Father of Pentacles. What the hell? Hanged Man. The Hermit, Eight of Cups. Eight of Wands. Okay, I just said what the hell because... <laughs> um... Remember when I was talking about the Hierophant here, the teacher, the sage? The Hierophant came out again, but this this time with the King of Pentacles. And even before this one came out, what I what I felt with this, I know this is going to sound wild. This is not going to apply to everyone, but some of you, the reason you may be in the Nine of Swords is because you may have somebody propose to you out of nowhere. Could be this Father of Cups, but could be somebody else because Father of Cups could be different than the Father of Pentacles. This is a collective, so it's going to apply differently to different people. So for some of you, this is a proposal. This Ace of Pentacles is a proposal that, that has you tail spinning because you're not sure what to do. For others, this is a business partnership, but it requires leaving behind your current life. Like there's something here where you have to leave behind everything you currently know. It's going to lead you to a lot of stability, but you are, you're so used to being in your little shell that walking away from that feels like a shock. <laughs> it feels like a shock. And that's where the strength comes in. That's where your, your yeah, that's, that's where your self-mastery is going to matter. Because it feels like, think of it like this. Think of it like, you know how when you buy fish, um, for those of you who have had pets, uh, pet fishes. When you buy them from the pet store and you bring them home, you can't just dump the fish out of the bag. It could kill the fish. You have to place the bag inside the new tank until the water tempers, right? Because that's what it's showing here. Temperance. Until the, the temperature in the, between the, the bag where the fish is at and the current, um, now I can't think of the name, tank, the fish tank, matches. Once the two match temperatures, then you can release the fish into the tank. Otherwise, the shock of the different temperatures could kill the fish. So I feel like right now, you're the little fish that has, you're about to get a new home. <laughs> Let's put it that way. You're about to get a new home. And so you are terrified because, kind of like, remember Finding Nemo? Where they were all terrified that that little girl would end up with their, um, with them in a bag and they would end up dead. That's what you're, you're sitting there terrified that you're going to end up dead. You're not, you're not. You're very used to being your little shell and being pulled out of your shell. It's, it's driving you crazy. But 
but I think whatever this is, is such a big blessing, but I, you know what? It's really interesting because the hanged man is here. It's like the universe is giving you time to mentally adjust to this. And once you mentally adjust to it, boom, it happens out of nowhere. But they're asking you to temper your fears right now because they're saying you're not going to die. You will not die. We will take you in your little bag, put you inside of the tank until the temperatures adjust. And then you're about to be in a large tank, maybe, maybe even different. Maybe you'll be taken out of a tank and put in the ocean. <laughs> and so it feels terrifying, but it's going to be okay. There's somebody here who's going to guide you. There's somebody here who's going to they're going to make this easier. So not obviously not for everyone. This is a proposal for some of you. This could just be a teacher, a mentor. This is somebody who's going to guide you. This is somebody who understands. Well, I don't know what they understand, to be honest, <laughs> especially if it's the same person, because this could be two different people. Um, if it is the same person and they have the star six of wands energy, they may not understand your nervousness. They may not, maybe they are a full-blown extrovert, but they are showing up as father of cups, father of pentacles. I don't think they're like a wild extrovert. They might just be used to this level of attention. They might just be used to this level of eyes on them. But they are showing up as a teacher, as a guide, as somebody that the Hierophant is Taurus energy, King of Pentacles is Capricorn Taurus Virgo. But the hangman is Pisces. Hermit energy is Virgo. So there's a lot of earth here. This is someone who's very stable. You can count on them. This isn't a... Um, this isn't a flighty, um, unstable, chaotic energy. You may feel like that right now. <laughs> when this offer comes in, you may feel very chaotic and sta unstable. But with the firefly, this this is something that's going to pass. And either you grab hold of it or it won't light up again. This opportunity isn't going to wait forever. Let's put it that way. So the universe is helping you adjust mentally to this. If you refuse, if you continue staying like, no, I want to stay in my shell, the offer just either one, it'll come in and you'll reject it and that'll be it. Or two, it will never come in because you're blocking it. You will block your own manifestation, which would be ironic because you pulled this in. You manifested this. Clarify Seven of Cups. King of Swords, clarify Seven of Cups. Strength. Eight of Swords. Ah. Mother of Swords, Five of Wands, Ten of Wands. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm laughing because some of your fear is coming from the fact that whoever this, this, this is an emperor because they, they already showed up as the emperor a while ago. They've shown up as King of Cups, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. I do think this is all the same person. For some of you, it could be three different people. But it makes more sense for it to be the same person because part of your fear is the fact that you're kind of used to being the empress. You're kind of used to being the person that um, is difficult to match in energy in some way. And this person can match you in energy. Not only can they match you in energy, they actually surpass you in energy. Because you're showing up as the queen, they're showing up as the king. Queen, king. So... It's making you nervous because <laughs> it's putting in a little bit of fear based energy because you're wondering, you're wondering if this is someone who's going to want to, um, like they may be very dominating. You're scared. That's what it is. You're scared about how it's going to work out. There, there it is again, all that. If this is somebody famous, and I think it is, and again, it's, it's, this is a spectrum because it's a collective. This is a spectrum of energy. For some of you, when I mean famous, I mean like everybody in your town knows them. For others, it'll be everybody in your county. For others, it'll be everybody in your state, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? If for others, it might not even be your whole town. It'll be, you know, 
your community, just the people at work, something like that. But this is somebody who's got plenty of eyes on them and this feels so, so heavy to you. You're just like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it. You're really struggling with this, but you, you can. You can, Libra. Don't fight your own manifestation. Because this person is actually just as nervous. Eight of Swords with the King is the Nine of Swords. So ironically, they may be able to hide it better. Especially if there's somebody who's used to being in the public eye. Because Chariot energy is Emperor energy. So this may be somebody who's very... Um, like they can put on a poker face. <laughs> this is it's making me laugh because it's make it's reminding me of that um that sound on tiktok that's like um how does it go it says i'm looking at her she's looking at me i'm looking at her like both of you are just sitting here staring at each other like now what <laughs> i don't know that's so funny to me because you're both equally nervous you think you're the only nervous one and no they're just as nervous they just have a, a better way of hiding it because maybe they have more experience with people watching them, their every move. So you're kind of sitting here with a poker face yourself, but you're scared. <laughs> so are they. They're scared too. Especially if this is romantic because that puts you in a, in a whole other level of vulnerability. If it's a business partnership, whatever it is that you are going to be a teacher of or whatever it is that you're going to put out there, Maybe it's something very different. Maybe it's something that's going to shock the world. Something like that. Because both of you are just as scared. You're scared of putting yourself out there. This person is scared. <sighs> well, honestly, I don't know. Because it's not giving me... <laughs> it's not giving me too much information about them. Because the story isn't about them. It's about you. If you go find their zodiac sign, you'll know what, <laughs> what they're scared of. Well, if it comes out in the reading. Um... Yeah. Hopefully you you master it. Hopefully you don't. I, it could also be, remember the moth was saying, um, it could also be wishful thinking. I think part of your fear could be that this is too good to be true, especially if you know that it's going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. With the Queen of Swords here, you may be in the energy of like, let's be realistic. How do we know this is going to happen? But you are dealing with someone who knows how to get you there. You've just got to trust yourself, your manifestations, and the universe, Libra. That's really, you just got to trust, okay? Don't fight your own manifestation for crying out loud. All right, that's what I got for you guys. Um, I'm going to end the reading here. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I look forward to feedback, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.